It's raining, but that's good news. Hello, I'm Griffey, so I'm going to go in and Griffith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now, it is Sunday. And the weather has broken. We are having some much, much needed rain. I'm just out here checking the sheep. And I tell you, this is a relief that we are getting this rain. Now, normally, I'd be quite, not sad, but frustrated. I come under this big ash tree for some shade. I get out of the rain. That's better. Normally I'd be quite angry or upset that it's raining and the bees are not working and not producing honey. But today it's different. We haven't had rain for about three, four weeks in Wales. The flow was becoming in strong, but the majority of that main summer flow, the clover, the bramble, that is coming to an end. I'm estimating maybe there's another week left of it, but then that is it. But the reason I'm happy it's raining, because once that clover and bramble turns, for most beekeepers, that's it for the season. They finished, they start thinking about taking the supers off and extracting it. But in Wales, we've got Himalayan balsam. Now this is a controversial uh, subject. Um, the environmental part of me, or the side of me, um, the countryside management side of me, says Himalayan balsam is really bad. It's an invasive weed, does a huge amount of damage to riverbanks and outcompetes native species. But the bee farmer and the beekeeper in me says, I absolutely love Himalayan balsam because you can get a very good honey crop off it. Now they estimate that Himalayan balsam produces something like 60% more nectar than any other UK native plant. Now whether that's true or not, I don't know, because Himalayan balsam doesn't actually give every year. Uh, but when it does give, it does give pretty good. So, But one thing Himalayan balsam really needs, that's rain. It really needs water and its feet wet for it to produce. So if we didn't get this rain now, the Himalayan balsam would pretty much be a total write-off. There'd be uh, nothing coming off it. But now that we've got this rain, things could turn out to be amazing. I mean, I think I'm on to a record honey crop anyway this year, which is, uh, which is really good. But if we get a couple more boxes, well, I say a couple more boxes, I haven't got a couple more boxes. I'm still building boxes, whether the bees are going to be able to fill it on the balsam, who knows. But if they do successfully fill that, uh, this year is going to turn out to be uh, maybe once in a lifetime flow. Who knows? Hopefully not. Hopefully, um, you know, the way the weather's going, us in Wales now, we're, we're going to gain off this uh, warmer weather and, uh, you know, we're going to get better crops. We've certainly got the, the moisture in the ground in Wales. You know, we can see the field is still really dry where if we were in England uh, or even France, Richard Noel, I uh, put a video up the other day of his, uh, where, where he lives, and it was like desert, you know, green grass had turned to desert. Where, where we are in Wales, even though we've had a drought for three, four weeks, it's still green. So it could be that Wales could be the, the, the well, one of the best places to produce honey in the UK. Who knows? Certainly has been like that for, for well, since since beginning of beekeeping in the UK, Wales has been a pretty, pretty hard place to, to, to do honey. But the last few weeks has shown that uh, it can be an amazing place to produce honey. Uh, so I is very much set now on rain for a few days and then are the bees going to be working that Himalayan balsam. And if they don't, we still got ivy, uh, may get some ivy honey, who knows. But bees are not working today, but that's not a bad thing either. They've got a lot of honey in the brood box that they need to move up. So they've got a rainy day job today, so hopefully the bees, they move that honey out of the brood box, they move it upstairs into the super, and uh, 
that will give the queen a bit more lay in space because I think they do they did need they needed this break really so I'm moving honey around queen is laying a bit more but more importantly that Himalayan balsam needed this drink of fresh water well that's it for this video just my thoughts on it's not a bad thing it's raining i know the kids are off on summer holidays they don't want this rain but i tell you every farmer and every beekeeper out there is glad we are getting this rain so hopefully where you are you're getting a bit of rain as well and we can all benefit from the himalayan balsam well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.